Okay, we're hoping this is recording, but this is another screencast of how to do double digit addition. This one is regrouping ones as 10. So my friends are going to help me in the audience. So can you guys say hi? Hi, you Hi. Thank you, surfers, for being so respectful when we do our screencast. All right, so here we go. You guys should have your work mats in front of you. And we're going to work on number four, which is 17 plus what? Seven. seven. So partner number one on your work mat, show me 17 with your base tens. So we're using base tens to help us do these math problems. And if you have 17 on your work mat, give me a thumbs up. Or your partner can give me a thumbs up if you're working. Thank you. 17 is the first add-in. What's the second add-in? What are we supposed to write? Seven. Seven. Actually, what are we supposed to get? So find seven more longs or cubes? Cubes. Just cubes. So find seven more. And move all the other ones away. If you have seven more at the bottom, give me a thumbs up. If you are all ready to go, say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, oh my goodness, I have this random nine up here. Who can tell me what this random nine that's in a bubble means? Parker, what's it mean? Um, it, it means it has to be nine or lower. Nine or lower because we're trying to make a group of what? Ten. Ten. We're always focused on the tens. So everybody count your cubes. I see some of you already doing that. And don't, don't shout it out. Just keep it in your head. If you have the number, tell not yell. One, two, three. I have, I have, I heard thirteen and I heard fourteen. Our original amount was what? Two, four, six. What was it? Seven, because it was seventeen. And then my second person added how many? Seven. Seven. So what? Seven plus seven? Fourteen. Ooh, it's a double fact. We have 14. If you have the 14, say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, but Parker said, partner, Parker said we can only have nine. So who can Parker call on to say, what do we do next? Because I know I cannot have more than nine. You saw the, what do I have to do? Oh, yeah, because what does he say? Do we need to regroup? Because it's a question. So, uh, you saw the, how many do I have to regroup and give to a new family member? How many do we regroup? Ten. 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 Count out ten cubes, somebody. One. Wait, in your head. I'm trying to count two. Uh -huh. And then double check to make sure you actually have ten. Okay. If you're good, give me two snaps. Not good. That means you're still clapping or you're still counting. Okay, if you're good, give me two snaps. Okay, awesome. Now, Yasolde told me to make a group of 10, but then Yasolde calling somebody. What do I have to do with this group of 10? Do I just randomly leave them here out in the wild? Quick, quick, quick. Abby, what do I do? Yeah, because how many cubes are really in a ten? ten. Or in a lung? Ten. So the cubes go bye-bye. Bye-bye, cubes. And now let's fill out our response sheet. Find your response sheet. Friends, how many now longs do you have thanks to Abby? Two. And how many ones do you have? Four. Everybody, did you regroup? Yes. And what is your final answer? So, my parents who are watching, we're doing this way because sometimes when we do problems like this, my, my guys, we haven't talked about this yet, but some of you know how to do it. If you have seven plus seven, 
We know seven plus seven is fourteen. Some of you okay, guys know to put down the four and carry the one. And then one plus one, one plus one is two. But many of my second graders can't tell me why do you only put down the four and why do you carry this two? Or carry that one to make two. So doing it this way is showing us these are the reasons why we take the 10 and move it over, and that's how we get two in this column. Okay, say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.